Since the Mitsubishi Expander got a facelift last 2022, it is just natural to expect that the Expander Cross will follow suit. Well, dude, pare, the long wait is over because we now have the new Mitsubishi Expander Cross right here. Let's do this. The Expander Cross is marketed as the SUV-style big brother of the new Expander lineup. It looks beefy enough to take on the likes of the Suzuki XL7 and the Toyota Rush, but small enough that it's still considered as the baby brother of the Montero Sport. Price at... Uh, who am I kidding? At the time of the shoot, I still don't have the price, so it should come out on your screen right now, or if not, I should put it in the pinned comment below. Anyway, the refresh Mitsubishi Expander Cross presents a rugged yet futuristic looking option in the local Expander lineup. But will this new look appeal to more people out there, or are you better off with the regular Expander GLS? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Alright dude pare, so I usually start my newer car reviews with a drive, but since this is an unboxing video, well let's begin with the front mug first. Now this new Expander Cross has received the same design changes that the new Expander got which includes these T-shaped LED headlight units here, these LED DRLs up top, plus it also has these fog lights. Although the Expander Cross fog light housing is in a rectangular pattern uh, versus the circular fog lights uh, found in the new Expander. Now these fog lights though are also LED units so that's also a bit of an upgrade over the expander lineup. Now aside from that, we also have this uh, dynamic shield uh, design language here. Although the front grille has received a new design which truly reminds me of the design of the, of the Mitsubishi Pajero Fieldmaster. I mean it really looks like that in my eyes. Now when you put it all together dude, yeah, the Expander Cross really has this macho and rugged look to it. So it accomplished its mission of looking more like an SUV or a truck rather than an MPV. However, there are some people out there who will find that this front fascia will be a little bit on the busy side. Or what with all of the lines and the design cues that are going on here. The side is nearly identical to a regular Expander GLS, although of course we have these plastic claddings on the fenders as well as this robust set of roof rails up top. Now the new Expander Cross has also gained in terms of overall length, around 95mm to be exact, and I have to admit to you guys that that added length plus that uh, plastic claddings on the fenders and the roof rails truly gives this new Expander Cross an imposing look. However though, the, for the wheel size, well, we only get a set of 17-inch alloy wheels here, which are okay if we're still living in 2018. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, dude, a set of 18s would have looked so much better on this new Expander Cross and it would have put it ahead of the competition. Well, at least when it comes to the ground clearance, we still have 225 millimeters of ground clearance here, which is already at par with some mid-size SUVs and even pickup trucks out there. Now, as for the mechanical bits, well, we still have the same mechanical bits from the previous model, uh, which means that we've got ventilated disc brakes up front, drums at the back, and for the suspension, we have a MacPherson front suspension and a torsion beam at the back. Here inside, the new Expander Cross gets these faux leather seats that come with contrast white stitching and a heat guard. Now, I have absolutely no idea what heat guard means. I do believe it's probably something to keep the heat off the leather seats. But, and I also don't know if this new Expander Cross here in the Philippines has the heat guard. But based on my research on online, I found that other markets get a heat guard. So yeah, 
maybe after the launch date we will know if the expander cross here in the philippines does get a heat guard or not and exactly what it does now what i do know here is that the gauge cluster of this expander cross uh, gets uh, a big upgrade because we now have a fully digital 8 inch gauge display here that is exactly identical to the one found in the Montero Sport. Now, dude, you know what else is identical to the Montero Sport here? Dude, the steering wheel. I mean, check it out. This is a leather wrap four spoke steering wheel that comes with all of these control buttons here, uh, which is, yeah, directly lifted from the Montero Sport. Now, I'm happy to see that Mitsubishi Motors Philippines is really stepping up the Expander Cross's game by giving it some Monty bits and pieces here. Now, this steering wheel also adjusts for... Uh, where's the adjustment? There you go. It adjusts for tilt and telescoping, which is a welcome feature for taller drivers out there. Now, the infotainment system is also the same as the Expander GLS, which means that it's a 7-inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus the image of a reverse camera. Now when you go down to the climate control setup here, we have the same digital climate control system uh, found in the Expander GLS. And when you go down further, we have an electronic park brake with an auto hold button. Now, we also have a pair of cup holders here which do that was subject to my 600ml clean canteen test. Let's see if it will fit. Yep. As you can see, it fits and it passes my clean canteen test. Now, there's also a, a center armrest here that's also leather padded. That's also a welcome feature. And when you look at the overall layout plus the cabin materials used here, well, the, the layout is the same as the one found in the Expander GLS, which is a nice and clean layout. Plus, we also have some, uh, yeah, some faux leather here on the middle dashboard, as well as on the door cards. Plus, we also have some carbon fiber trim uh, to give it a sporty look. Now, I'd love to say that the drive of the new Expander Cross is different from before or let's say even the regular Expander GLS, uh, but then I'd be lying to you, wouldn't I? You see, we still get the same engine and transmission combo here. This, my friends, is a 1.5 liter four-cylinder Mivec gasoline engine which delivers 103 horsepower and 141 newton meters of torque. Now, the transmission is still the same four-speed automatic. Now I said this in my Mitsubishi Expander GLS review and I will say it again. This engine and transmission combo is super reliable and as reliable as the seat belts found in your car. <laughs> Now, dude, the power output is decent for an MPV as I've experienced when I borrowed the new Expander GLS for an entire week. The fuel economy shouldn't also be far from that new Expander GLS, which should be around 10 to 11 kilometers per liter in light city traffic and around 19 kilometers per liter on the highway. When it comes to the safety bits, well, this new Expander Cross now gets active yaw control, yaw, which applies brakes to the front wheels to help improve on its cornering. Now, the thing is, aside from that, well, the usual passive safety bits from the previous Expander Cross are carried over. Now, if you're wondering why this new Expander Cross still gets dual airbags, well, dude, the expander platform itself is only made for dual, dual airbags only. So yeah, we'll have to wait for an all new next generation Mitsubishi expander platform uh, to, if you want to see more airbags. Now, as for the NVH though, well, we don't get the chance to drive this out on the highway yet. And uh, well, I do hope that it gets a quieter cabin on the highway versus the the regular Expander GLS. Although, if I'm being realistic, I would think that it would likely be the same. The rear end gets a rugged looking rear bumper overrider here, which in a way goes quite well with the redesigned T-shaped LED taillight units here. Now, dude, pare, when you pop open the manual lift gate of the Expander Cross, you'll notice that you get the exact same cargo capacity as a regular Expander. 
uh, that means that with the storage row seats folded, you get around four to five uh, medium-sized luggage that you can fit in here, and uh, also some smaller items found underneath the floorboard right there. Now, as for the second row space, well, it's exactly the same as the, as the regular expander, which means that average Asian dudes like myself can fit there quite easily. Around three of us would be quite okay there. And uh, as for the third row seats, well, they're best reserved for kids or maybe for smaller adults on short trips. We cannot deny the fact that most people prefer an SUV look over an MPV people hauler. With this in mind, the new Expander Cross presents a small 7-seater SUV option for the new Expander lineup. While the exterior may appear overstyled and some may say it's trying too hard, the proven mechanicals and the added convenience features still makes the Expander Cross a compelling option. As they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder anyway, so if the look of the new Expander Cross appeals to you, then there is absolutely no shame in that. Thanks for watching.